working with eye health too. We're interviewing a very distinguished scientist today, Dr. Ellie Rappaport. Greetings, Dr. Rappaport. Thank you, Lena. I would like to know, and the viewers would like to know, about your background. Um, where did you get your PhD, for example? Well, I got my PhD at the Johns Hopkins University in 1971, and ironically, a major part of my dissertation, my PhD dissertation, had to do with the elucidation of the mechanism of the North American firefly bioluminescence. You mean like the lightning bug? Exactly. <laughs> okay. Now the, the uh, mechanism of the bioluminescence has to do with the initial activation of the light emitting molecule that's called luciferin by none other than ATP. ATP. And the luciferin adenylate undergoes then an enzyme catalyzed reaction resulting in the light emission. Now, the importance of this reaction is, besides the biological significance, is that it's the most sensitive reaction for identifying ATP, for quantitating ATP. In other words, when the luciferin and the luciferase, when the light-emitting light molecule and the enzyme are in excess, are non-limiting, then ATP can be measured with great accuracy. And ATP is, for our viewers, ATP is the energy currency in our body, correct? Exactly. ATP is the energy currency in the body. It's the energy currency of every cell. There is no life without it. No life without no it. No life without well, that's, it. That's pretty vitally important. Now, in isn't? addition to ATP being the energy currency, Namely, it can use its energy to form new chemical bonds, oh. to interact with um, proteins and affect them allosterically. Allosterically means that by binding to pockets on proteins, it affects the reaction or the um, it affects the reaction of the proteins. Let's leave it at that. In addition, the energy of ATP can be converted to chemical bonds or to the all-important mechanical energy, as in the skeletal muscles and in the cardiac That's muscles. That's what I was going to ask you. It's, it's about our muscles. It interacts with our muscles or causes the, muscle. Yes. The, the mus energy. muscle action is directly related okay. to the energy generated by ATP. Really? Okay, so yes. that is very vitally important. Yes. Um, what have you been doing since? I mean, how many years have yes. you put into this? Yes, I started my PhD in 1967 and graduated in 1971. Mm -hmm. And at that time, I moved to uh, Harvard Medical School at the, at the Massachusetts General Hospital and became interested in um, cancer and cancer biology and the role of ATP in cell proliferation. Oh, the role of, of ATP Yes, and, and this, is okay. going, this is going on for a long time. And yeah. finally, we are beginning to see the fruits of this research uh, in the treatment of advanced refractory mm -hmm. cancers. But um, I'm here to talk today about ATP that goes by the brand name of peak ATP, which is the actual ATP molecule, ATP disodium, and its oral uptake and its effect on, uh, its positive effect on mostly on the circulation, on fatigue, on glycemic control, and a whole slew of other indications. Okay, great. Well, we'll come back and we'll talk about those roles that ATP plays. Thank you, Dr. Rappaport. You're welcome.